back in 2010, Geelong hosted the UCI World Road Race Cycling Championships. After a fierce week of racing, it was rounded out with Thor Hushoff of Norway winning the Elite Men's Championships. That race brought the city and the area to the attention of millions of cyclists worldwide. Since then, the city has hosted on a yearly basis the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. So, we have come along to find out what makes this area ideal for us cycling fanatics. because tomorrow they need to be fresh as I'm going to be riding with a certain Phil Skippy Anderson the first Australian to ever wear the yellow jersey at the Tour de France he's going to be taking me on one of the most scenic roads in the world the Great Ocean Road but first I'm going to get myself back to Geelong because the area is not just a great cycling area it also has a thriving cycling industry Greg Lamont, a multiple Tour de France winner, has just invested 58 million Australian dollars into the economy. He's hoping to build low-cost, environmentally friendly frames. There's also local steel and titanium manufacturer, Boom, and I'm going to whip round their factory and check out how a bike's made. at Bowenhead was pretty damn tasty. I've rode now back here to Geelong to take on Shalambra Crescent. Bowenhead's famous for Cadell Evans and this climb is famous because it is featured on the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. It's the decisive climb, the steep one and the one I think I'm going to be regretting for having that extra slice of caramel shortbread. Look, sees you on TV. Oh man, you want to do that too often? That's a toughie. down to some nondescript industrial estate just on the outskirts of Geelong to Baum Cycles who are a, now a world-renowned custom bike manufacturer it's not your average tourist destination but as a bike fanatic it is fantastic to come and see how these beautiful machines are made It's another lovely crisp morning. We have come an hours down the road from Geelong to the world famous Great Ocean Road. And to show me round, we've got a living legend, the man himself, Mr. Phil Anderson, the first non-European to wear the yellow jersey at a tour defence, the first Australian. Good morning. 
Good morning, buddy. Uh, beautiful. It's not that crisp. It's, it's, I've got arm warmers on. I'm looking forward to taking them off later, though. Phil, what has uh, dragged you back here? You could have lived anywhere in the world, lived in York. What dragged you back to the Great Ocean Road, back to Australia? Well, you know, when I was racing in Europe, I always wanted to come back here when I retired. I love the country. I used to do a lot of hiking, a lot of bushwalking. So it's going to be in the country, and uh, I love the ocean. So this is just a great combination of, of uh, you know, being in a rural location, but uh, on the water. Are you a surfer like these guys? <laughs> do you do a bit of surfing? I do a little bit of, of boogie boarding, but uh, I don't have a hard plank. Mix, mix it up with a bit of hiking, a bit of boogie boarding. Obviously, the Great Ocean Road is the known road. This is the one everyone heads to. And it is, so far, it's fantastic riding. But is there any little secret back roads that you know of? Is there anything that you venture out of? Gravel or...? Yeah, well, it's great to get off the road because, uh, you know, it's no secret that it's, it's popular, so there's going to be lots of cars later in the day. Early like this, it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. So if you can get off the road in the back, there's um, along the top of the Otways, along the spine, there's a, there's a road which, which uh, follows the ridge and then there's all these tracks which go up. So you can really get lost back there, it's fantastic. Thank you for showing us your roads. Thank you for showing us a coffee shop. I know you've got to get off and do some firefighting or some practice firefighting, is that right? Some training, some some exercises. Training. I think they're calling it a situation today. A situation. So we've, we've done the bike ride and you're going, going to go and do the serious stuff now. <laughs> That's right. No, it's, been, uh, it's been wonderful and uh, I'm always trying to encourage people to come down here, but uh, to Victoria, I feel very fortunate to have such a, a beautiful place to live. You do indeed. Thank you. Cheers. If you come to Geelong, you can tackle the course of the 2010 World Championships or the route of the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. But the area has a lot more to offer than those two courses. Head further down the coast and you can take in more golden sand and vibrant blue water. Oh, if that's not your sort of thing, head inland into the Otways to where a land looks like it's been lost in time. If you've enjoyed this video, you may very well like to check out the first instalment of this trip where we headed to Ballarat. Give us a subscribe, give us a like, and we hope to see you in our next instalment in Melbourne.